These will now be presented on court to the winner and the runner-up of the Ladies' Wheelchair Singles Final. On court for this presentation, please welcome Ashley Tatum and Sarah Benison, who are members of the Committee of Management of the Championships. Firstly, this year's runner-up from Japan, Yui Kamiji. <laughs> And now, the 2022 Wimbledon champion from the Netherlands, Dieter de Groot. Well, firstly, a huge congratulations to you, Didi. And this is, of course, your fourth Wimbledon Singles Champions. Congratulations. How does that feel? Uh, very special, I can say, yeah. And, of course, this actually gives you a, a calendar Grand Slam Championship. So, what a year you've had. Um, yeah, and the year hasn't even... Uh, we're only halfway, I think. Um, <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy with how things are going, and uh, I'm, so, I'm so grateful to be out here and be able to just play in these, in these conditions and, uh, and get these chances, and I'm just really grateful for that. And of course, that's over 50 wins in a row you've had now. The last time you did lose was to Yui Kamichi, and that was at the Melbourne Open last year. I mean... Compared to, to everywhere else you play, how do you find the Wimbledon crowds here? Um, I think as wheelchair tennis players, grass will never be our favourite surface. Um, I, yeah, I don't think anyone really loves it. Uh, I do think, and that's, that goes for me, I love the challenge. Um, it's such a physical battle that you need to, need to put up. And um, I think the, the, the way that you have to sort of change your game a little bit um, in comparison to hardcore or, or clay, I, I love that challenge. So, uh, uh, yeah, I like it. Well, you obviously changed that game pretty well, year on year. And, and lastly, is there anything you'd like to say to the crowd, to, to Yui? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, congrats, Yui, on making the final. I think you played really well today. And I think um, even though my, my match streak is, is pretty long, uh, you make it difficult for me every time, so well done. Um, a special thank you to my team, coaches, everyone who helps me at home. Um, we, we got a chance to practice, have matches, um, and have an actual preparation for Wimbledon this year, so that was really nice. Uh, so thank you. Thank you. Well... Um, and then a special thank you to all of my family um, who came out to watch today. Um, it's really special to have you here. Ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for our champion, Didi De Groo. Well, special moments for Didi De Groot and Yui Kamiji. Kamiji in her first Wimbledon final, but De Groot is the winner and gets the winner's trophy, the winner's check of £51,000.
both players posing for their photos with the trophies, which I'm sure will be important mementos they keep for the rest of their lives. I imagine Didi de Groot will be back in another Wimbledon final, at least. <laughs> at I don't least think one. it's the last we're going to see of her, absolutely not, but what a great victory. But you mentioned, Louise, actually, each one is special to her. That's actually a really nice thing, isn't it? She doesn't kind of get blasé about it. Yeah, that's what I really love about watching Dida is that, you you know, it doesn't matter how many she's won and how good her success is and that, as I identified, she is one of the best of all time. But it's every win. You just see that emotion. You know, she's very humble, very kind um, and grateful for where she is. And that's the thing that's really nice about her. It's so nice how everyone means the world. And, of course, the home crowd, the British crowd, looking ahead to that Alfie Hewitt-Gordon-Reed doubles final later on. Alfie Hewitt in the men's wheelchair singles final tomorrow. We await to see what court that will be played on. But it's great that this was a contest today. We see so many matches where Dida de Groot just steamrollers over her opponent, and that wasn't the case today. It looked like it might be at 5-1 in the first set, but Kamiji came back 5-4 before De Groot won the game she needed to to take that first set 6-5, 6-4, sorry, and then the second set, a little bit more straightforward. But it has to be said, actually, Kamiji had some magic moments in that second set. There was that one rally, I remember, where Kamiji played a shot like a David Beckham free kick. It had so much to work <laughs> on. Yeah, there were some certainly incredible moments, great points. There's a lot that Kamiji could definitely take from the whole tournament, actually. You know, to get to a Wimbledon final for her, finally, will feel... I can only imagine amazing and I know next time she'll want to come back and win it but there's so much to be gained from her getting this far into the tournament and so much that she can take away and build on her confidence ready for next year. And there's unfinished business as well for Dida de Groot herself later on alongside Annick Van Cote they will play Yui Kamiji and Dana Mathewson tomorrow in the ladies doubles final. So the trophy cabinet for Didi de Groot gets even bigger. And that's been a great occasion out here on court three in front of a decent crowd. <laughs> and we had some magic moments in this match. This was match point. Unfortunate to end that way, but you can see what it means here. Watch this reaction. <laughs> 